How's everything? I'm good, I'm good. Good? good. Everything's good. Just taking things one day at a time. Um, yeah, just got off work. Yeah, so, you How know, yourself? I'm doing good, man. Just working on this project, you know, just trying to get in touch with all the alumni, like everybody <laughs> that went to our school, just to have a conversation and dialogue, you know, because we had different points in our lives and everything. And um, so I, I'm really honored to be in touch with you, bro, to be able to like reconvene after all these years and time. Um, so I really appreciate you taking the time to like be here, bro, because I know how busy you are. Um, <laughs> but uh, could you, would you mind sharing with me like a vivid memory of um, your time in high school that has like stayed with you for like a long time? Um, vivid memory, just math class, you know, Mr. Collins, Mr. Salifa. Um, Mr. Collins, just because he was just a very strict guy, man, he always made sure he worked smarter, not harder. Um, Mr. Talifa, um, he, he definitely went above and beyond in, time, in moments that he needed to. Definitely took his time out to definitely care for other classmates. Um, not to say that any other teacher did not, but just someone that I saw that went personally through me, we went above and beyond, but I believe that, I believe every other teacher there went above and beyond. Um, the expectations, whatever was required, touch students that they needed, touch students in a way that they needed um, in order to succeed. So, um, and I think still even after graduating, like, you know, uh, just having a relationship with, you know, their contact, the email, staying in touch, making sure success, being involved in aspects of their personal life. Um, so, you know, it's, it's a blessing, man. Uh, but yeah, definitely, Mr. Yeah. Collins, Mr. Talifa, my guys. Okay. Um, so, so, like, yeah. reflecting on those days, like, what lessons or values do you think had the most like significant impact <laughs> on your life? Uh, commitment. Um, uh, everybody had a different story in high school. I know that. Um, everybody probably has something going on crazy. If they didn't, <laughs> good for them. Uh, but, uh, commitment, if you define it, it's like through the adversity. And so it's just like some people that I do know that graduate, whether they did or did not. Um, I think Max was just touched on commitment to the dynamic and the system that they thought was what we needed for success and seeing who came out on top. Um, I think that, like, that's one value from basketball. I th I tell you, like, <laughs> playing ball for school, playing ball for the school. Uh, you, you don't things don't go the way you want. That's life. Um, you could be great at something, it's still not gonna happen for you. You could be good at it, it's still not gonna happen for you. Um, but just learning how to stay committed, stay disciplined. Um, le learn what real discipline is. Can like carry that character, carry that, um, that 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 mental state to do what you gotta do. Um, I, yo, there days I remember showing up to school with uh, my, half my pants soaked and still running to class and not trying to be late. You know, even after ball practice, and it's like. <laughs> what can you do? That's life, you know. But uh, but uh, yeah, they they would. They, it's, it's knowing how to take that road and just do it. You gotta commit. So, so so how would you say your like your um your experiences in high school like shape your your aspirations and your career choices? Um, <clears throat> aspirations, your career choices kind of came with my circumstances. Um, like. I've worked high corporate, low corporate, uh, from from uh, Dunkin' Donuts to <laughs> to operations assistant, operations manager, uh, from a high end company to a nonprofit. Uh, really, just um, really just understanding how you apply yourself. Um, I think like 
as long as you commit to want to know what you want to know, what you have to know, um, and just doing it, uh, I think you could do whatever you want to do, but I think also there's a personal space behind that on terms of like, what can you live with? Uh, career choices are based off of, you know, what people choose to do, how you, how you make that decision. I don't think, I don't think that decision was really, um, talked about for us in high school, but in terms of like, I'm not surprised if like some kids opened up their own business or did something like if they had the resources or if they had the mental space to do so. Um, but I think there is a space of that where it's like, all right, do I feel like doing this? Uh, do I see myself doing this? And like, you know, even looking at you, like what you doing right now? Like, <laughs> yo, I remember we were in Miss um, Khalil's class chemistry and we had a rap group in there. And I was like, if we used to say, yo, <laughs> John got some crazy bars I ain't rapping against. So I ain't gonna spit no poetry. And now it's like you're using your voice and and creating a space for people to use their voice. Like that's that's dope. Um, I don't really talk to many people from high school, but it's like uh, just knowing from a few people that I do know, things have happened. You know, so yeah. Thank you, G. That, that came from the heart, bro. Yeah, bro, that came from the so, heart. You know, back in the day, too, you was there with the music <laughs> with me, bro. Like, I remember, bro, you believed in it before shit was even going off. You was like, yo, I'm going to be your manager. <laughs> yo, like, word. back then, you didn't give him a pet. I didn't you give was like, yo, I'm going to be your manager. I don't yo, give a pet, I don't give a fuck. If I just got to be around and watch it happen, even right now, yeah. I, even right now, yeah. I roll with it, you know? Because bro, that's, that's how what much... I'm saying, bro. Like the energy never changes with you, bro. That's why I'm honored to have you today. Nah, welcome, uh, bro. Can you describe like a a pivotal moment or decision that set you on the your current life path? Like, what was like your your big moment that made you shift? Um. Really, uh personal means um personal situations of like growing up as an immigrant um <laughs> you know in america and like that's not something that is the system's fault school's fault high school uh you know it's, it's a story that i always kept hidden but now i'm like Nah, this I've already had the end of the road, and I'm like, yo, like, I don't even think people understand how how many people I know that went through this process, but my own personal process, um, just, 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 just being like, okay, you know, just being like, hey, yo, honestly, like, I used to be cutting up sausage, putting in ramen noodles to eat dinner and then go to school and be like, yo, I'm hungry, <laughs> you know, and trying to figure out how to get dinner. My mom was sick or she was struggling trying to keep the lights on the house. So uh, food, uh, <laughs> you know, uh, I was, I used to work construction when I was in high school and do ball in school and go to church. So it was like, I was always around the clock doing something um but I say really just come into a space of like understand what's required with that life you know with that process for me um also just being a restoration profile like that took a turn on my life because it's like I had to change my perspective and I don't think no one no no one taught me how to change my perspective it was like I had to go learn how to change my perspective and understand like what it means to be a black man in America. What is it? How do I identify with that? How do I work with that? How do I? What steps do I take? How should I go about thinking about it? And knowing the do's and do nots, the can'ts and you know can you know cans, and then learning like what are learning that there there are real life limitations in that space, and. Um, just understand the possibilities and trying to 
trying to use where I'm from to get where I want to go or how I think things should go. Um, I think that happened to me when I was like 20. Um, uh, I ended up just getting on this case and I ain't finna the description, nothing. And I had, and, and actually, the first actually big time was when I was in high school. I was getting some burger and, burger and fries from my mom. I'll never forget it. And, uh, and I remember literally coming from the beach with, you know, I hang out, I hung out with the nerd kids, you know, with crew back in the day. And, uh, like, go home. My mom was like, yo, give me a burger and fries from the store since you're on the way home. And I was like, she didn't eat. And I was like, all right. And, uh, she come home from, late from work. And, uh, cops come into place asking me for my ID. And, um, I think, like, and up, I looked like some some other black kid. Part of some had on a white V neck, coming from the beach with a beach towel in my bag, and um, I'm getting cuffed for something I didn't know about. And um, I was probably in my third year, third year of high school, and uh, I remember just being arrested for a whole weekend, a uh, whole week, and go walking back in school and like probably like only three, four faces knew about my situation or like why I ain't coming to school. And um I just remember school just trying to reach out to every resource to get that case off me, try to get a lawyer. Something I didn't even know about. I didn't could I couldn't I didn't, I didn't have the words to comprehend that. And I think that just took a real life turn on um my life personally because Everything I was fighting for, it was like, I'm still being told I'm this person that I'm not. And um, and I still had to fight, really fight with that life for two, three years just to get out of that one situation. And then... Um, <clears throat> so, 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 I didn't catch it. So, when you said um, that situation, it made me uh, want to ask you my next so, question. And it actually is aligned with what you're saying. Um, it has to do with your 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 personal achievement mm-hmm. milestones. Like, could you tell us about anything particularly you're proud of, like since since high school? Like that you really just like. I'm I'm proud to be standing here. To be honest with you, proud to be here. Um, proud to be like being able to have this dialogue with you. Uh, I think being able to say I've done I've done and traveled uh, across the United States. I've done things that I'm like, I mean, a lot of people from our generation probably didn't get to do or previous generation didn't get to do. I'm blessed to say I understand who I am. I understand our ancestors. I understand our stories. I understand the glory that comes to wherever you are. Um, you're there for a reason. So, you know, just like, just this comment, the, the narrative is 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 a is a is a progressive list of stories told like you know there were men and mentors that I had that touched me that I've now passed on so I have passed on those stories to other young men you know and that that's success in itself uh, not the way that we define it with stuff or car I could say I have a nice car I have a nice place I could say all that but that's fine so in our last um uh, ten yeah. minutes at our meeting, um, what advice would you give to any current high school students who are about to embark on their own journey um, after graduation? Be open. Be open to learn, to grow, and don't give up. Um, what was it? Courage, discipline, and perseverance is what Matt used to say. Um, I would say really just don't give up. Like even when you even when things are not looking the way that you want to, still don't give up. Um, and start manifesting your five-year plan the year you should graduate. You know, I, I really wish I understood that. I really did. I really wish I understood the power of prayer. I really wish I understood the power of writing things down, of, like, to having that determination to one thing rather than, like, feel like you got to have ten things and your energy goes out. But when you focus on one thing and you want that, do that. Like, but you got to know what you want to do. And I think leaving high school, just not being so sure about what you want to do and who you are is what leaves kids in a lot of that that weird gray area. 
It left me in the gray area for years, but life coming at me too. But I think once you have a focus, well, my, my advice that I've given is have a focus, go to that. Don't don't derail, be, get back on track. Um, if you get pushed, push back. <laughs> you know, so uh, it just it just keep pushing. Just keep pushing. If you want to cry, cry it out, but keep pushing. So, um, yeah. Thank you, man. Yeah, like, no I appreciate problem. this, man. This is fire, bro. <laughs> if there's anything else like you want to mention or say, then like, you know, you got the floor to tell us about promote anything or, or talk about anything. It's, it's um, you know, I think you know, yeah, just bro. saying, just share my thoughts. Like the world's changed. Like uh, the the expectations have changed, but it doesn't mean that the hardship has has gotten easier. It's probably getting harder. It's probably getting harder in ways that we can't see, but they next generation can see. Um, I say just keep, just pass the baton, man. Like really, keep pushing. Like some days, I'm I'm still saying it. Ten years later, twelve years later, like fifteen years later, I'll probably still say keep pushing. And I think that like. School. I think one thing that helped me with high school was those speeches. I learned more from the speakers coming into school than teachers teaching in the classroom. And I think that, like, it's different when you look into a YouTube video or listen to somebody or something like that. But when you have people come in and share those real stories, like... A kid told me, kids told me when I was working at high school last year, kids said, I was like, they look up to me. I was like, what are you talking about? I ain't got nothing. I ain't got shit. <laughs> you know, what are you talking about? I'm just a brother trying to get something. Kids said, kids who felt like they couldn't do nothing, they said, because you come from where I come from and do what you do, I could do more. And I said, yeah, do that, do that. And so it, it's just connection. When you find that connect, try to grow from that and um, and, and go as high as you can until, until you could do something and maintain and then just pass the baton. So it's, it's been done to me and I really never understood it but I understand it, like, you know, so, uh, that's my advice. Thank you, G. Yeah, that was plenty full, bro. Like, I'm, I'm going to take this, that audio file. Um, you can email that to me to the same got to. email chain that we have. That would be perfect, bro. Yes, you, know, you know, you got my number, so... You know, you're gonna be in contact with me talking <laughs> bullshit. I know you doing music, and I know you you still be interested. So, shit, man. Yo, like, hey, man. Yo, session, I've been, I it, haven't, you know? I haven't, I have played. Like I told yeah. you in high school, I played, I played in church, bro. I played the piano, the drums, the bass. Yeah. You know, yeah, I remember. I haven't touched, I, I haven't touched any of that stuff yeah. in years. Like you know, heard me on piano in school. People's like, what? You know, like, what do you think? I was just home, just like doing some nonsense. Nah, I was learning chords and sound. So, um, yeah, man, just let me know, man. I've got, I do need a, now that I'm older, I do appreciate the hobbies that I had when I was younger because I don't do much of those stuff now. And it's, it's real because you gotta really, see the difference in the balance like you you probably don't even rap like you used to when you was younger but yeah but like if you have that no, talent no. like go as far as you can with the talent first then you do everything else because i'm like if what i would have killed some drumsticks dog when i what Killing, so yeah. You still care, bro. I know still, you still oh, got I know it. You, I still care. Yeah. Of course, of I course, they got it all. So you know, it's 
it's um it's different it's different like things to things that i want but i'm thinking my my kids to do I'm like shoot like i'm i'm definitely gonna give them the head up that i didn't have not because i didn't have it just because they deserve that mm. and so um i do my best to do that teaching them how to get to those resources so yeah Yes, sir. Love it. <laughs> yeah, man. I call you. I call you, man. I call you.